According to Russian reports, on June 22, the Ukrainian military attacked Novoshoktinsk, one of Russia's major oil refineries, using Chinese-made commercial drones. At 9.25 a.m. Moscow time, two drones struck the Novoshoktinsk oil refinery in the Rostov area, 5 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, with a capacity of up to 7.5 million tons of oil per year, Novoshoktinsk is claimed to be one of the largest factories in Russia's southern area. According to the Novoshoktinsk refinery's official statement, terrorist activities from over the border triggered an explosion and fire. The big fire was entirely doused within an hour and a half by the Russian fire service, with no injuries. A UAV that looks to be a Chinese-made 4,450mm Sky-Eye drone is seen hitting the Novoshoktinsk oil refinery in a video released on social media. In terms of specifications, the Sky-Eye 4,450mm is available as a kit from AliExpress for $6,500. The fiberglass airplane has a wingspan of 4,450 meters. This commercial drone has a payload capacity of 12 to 20 kg. The price listed above does not include the engine. The DLE-170 is the suggested model, which can be purchased separately for $1,149 from the same source. As a result, the entire set of this UAV costs less than US$8,000. By installing a satellite-assisted navigation system, a mission computer, and a satellite-assisted navigation system, Ukrainian specialists appear to have converted the Sky-Eye 4450mm from a civilian drone to a suicide drone, Kamikaze. It is unclear how these two suicide drones managed to avoid Russian air defenses and infiltrate the airspace of the Rostov region, but it is evident that this is not the first time the Russian sector along the Ukrainian border has been breached. As a result of the strike, the Russian army will almost certainly need to work hard to reinforce its air defense network in the Rostov region. Furthermore, despite the modest damage, the offensive signified a significant escalation in Kiev. The incident might not have occurred if Russia had responded more forcefully. On April 1, two Ukrainian helicopters entered the oil depot attack zone south of Belgorod, and on April 14, two more helicopters struck a residential area in the border settlement of Klimovo in the Bryansk region. Following these instances, Moscow warned Kiev that any assault on Russian territory would result in strikes on decision-making centers in Ukraine, while also ordering the strengthening of early warning capabilities, even though the air defense umbrella has not yet patched all the holes.